Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a uh, 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball Break. It's a hobby edition, 12 box, pick your team number 6. And if you got at least two teams, you've got a shot at a, at a Bowman Chrome Hobby Box. We'll send that to you sealed. It'll be separate from uh, any of the cards that you may end up getting. So good luck with that. Big thanks to all of these folks here for getting into it. Pick your team six. There you go. Now, if you've got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in the uh, in the blaster box that we did where we gave away some teams. There you go. Matthew Shear with that last spot mojo reds. There you go. Oh, boy. We need, we, need to, we need to buy more product and more fillers, Nick. Nick's, ta Nick's taking all of my fillers. All right. Here's the case right here. Awkward rectangular size. Here's two, here's four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Good luck, everyone. Whose line is it anyway? No, the CBS game show before Fred's right. I don't watch CBS game shows. What? Come on, what am I, 85? CBS. CBS game show. The only game show I watch is Feud. In Jeopardy, maybe? Sports Jeopardy? Where, where, what happened to Sports Jeopardy? What happened to Sports Jeopardy? What is this Bowman Chrome stuff I'm seeing? Some pretty good stuff, Rex. That's what that's what you're seeing. All right, here's the first master box coming up. Two autographs. One per uh, one per mini. There's the first one right there, and it's going to be uh, Rain for Salinas, Bowman Chrome autograph for Daniel, Florida Daniel, and the Yankees. We've got a California Daniel Ruiz in here as well. He has the Diamondbacks, but Daniel Ruiz from Florida has the Yankees. There you go. Make that distinction. We got Yusai Kikuchi to 99. That'll be for the Mariners, Thomas with the M's. You got Christian Pash, Purple Shimmer. Not those are not numbered, but that'll go to Brandon and the Braves. The Nico rookie card will go to Nicholas and the Cubs. There's Jason Dominguez right there. Josh Bell to 150. Blue for the Pirates. That'll be for Matthew Shira. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't remember the gong show. I might have been, might have been just missed the gong show, maybe. And we got Thad Ward, 12 out of 25. Red Sox. Mark Bissett with the Red Sox. There you go, fifth round pick. I think Verlander just went down with, uh, is he getting Tommy John? Is that what I read? And there's Kiebert Ruiz to 499. Big Dodgers catching prospect, so that Lux and Kiebert will go to Andrew, who got randomized by Dodgers. I don't think we have too many games left in baseball, right? I think 
with all the all the Lakers excitement happening here, and the Dodgers pretty much a lock for a playoff spot. I don't think I've been really paying too much attention here. Let me do some recaps here. We got so the Rays and Yankees have X's next to their names. So that means they must have clinched a playoff spot, a playoff berth, at least. Uh, do the A's have a Y next to their name? That means they've clinched the division already. All right. Dodgers and Padres have playoff berths. So they, I guess, they could just lose the rest of the way, and they just do. The White Sox and and Twins have playoff berths as well. So the only team without playoff berths are the uh, NL East and the NL Central, it looks like. It's, like, it's, a, little, it's a little too close for them. Kind of a weird playoff system this year. There's like seating and stuff like that. So the divisions kind of seems like Winning the division isn't as crucial as the record, overall record, is comparatively, at least for this year. I don't know if they're going to keep that next year. I hope they don't. Got Yankees Blue Jays on right now. Yankees up 2 0 in the second. Next box, good luck. And the autograph is another Yankee, 173 out of 250, Anthony Garcia. Another Yankees auto going out to Daniel Ruiz of Florida. Strasburg to 250 for Jordan and the Nats. There's a Bo Bichette rookie card and another Thad Ward for Mark and the Red Sox. What's up, Dennis? You're looking at a Dominguez auto on eBay, and you see one, and seeing they have one for sale. That's an Onyx auto. Oh yeah, we've heard of we've heard of Onyx. Onyx for there's Bo Bichette right there for the Blue Jays, Mark. The only Onyx stuff that we've done as group breaks have been um, they're usually live. It's usually live memorabilia. There's Keone Cavaco for the Twins. So we've done some Onyx breaks before. They'll have like autographed baseball gloves or autograph. We've seen autographed baseball gloves, autographed bats maybe, hats perhaps. So we've done a little bit of their stuff before. There's Corey Lee to 499 for the Astros, refractor for David Ross.
All right, next master box. Looks like Jock Peterson has returned to the Dodge. He has some family issue right there. Pain-free Aaron Judge close to locking it in. We got ranking rookies according to Jim Callis of the MLB. Who has the most future value? Number one on the list is Luis Robert. I think that makes sense. He's slumping a little bit, but his power and speed combo is pretty awesome. Gavin Lux is uh, second on the list. Jesus Lazardo, pitcher for the A's, third on the list. Then Dustin May for the Dodgers. Alec Baum or Bohm for the Phillies. Then Kyle Lewis. Carter Keboom, Sean Murphy, catcher for the A's, Brady Singer for the Royals, and Tony Gonsolin locking, landing in on uh, number 10. So he's in the top 10. Is, he, is Kyle Lewis slept on? He's number 6 on this list. Is he rookie of the year? I don't know. I think, I think, uh, oh, he's, yo, Jordan's saying he should be number 1. There's Dustin May right there. And Jonathan Stiver for the White Sox. That's going to be for Thomas. Yeah, who's going to be the AL Rookie of the Year? And NL Rookie of the Year. What's the, what's the, what's the situation there? Luis Robert? But Digital Jordan is saying that, that, uh, that Kyle Lewis has better numbers than Luis Robert. I mean, not for the maybe for MVP, maybe not for Rookie of the Year. There's Tristan Lutz, Purple Simmer. There's a Robert Pawson right there. You can see Nick on the Nick Cam. He's going to help us rip open these boxes so we can save a little bit of time. Yes. You know what that song's called? What? Crispy chicken, put it in a taco. No, I don't. How are you going to get this name on the back of his jersey? Woods Richardson? It'll be W. Richardson, right? You think they'll give him W. Richardson? Simeon Woods Richardson just gets a W. Richardson? There's a Keston Hero refractor know, to four ninety nine. dollars What's the longest last name in history? Todd Hollinsworth. Really? No. <laughs> I, like I don't know. I remember the H would go from one armpit to the under to the other armpit. I guess they didn't know how to size letters back then. Curtis Terry, Rangers, going to Matthew Shearer. Make mine a little brighter. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's make Nick's camera a little bit larger. Let's brighten that up a little bit there. Soto bomb? Who's going to be an NL MVP? Mookie Betts? Mookie Betts is doing pretty well. All right, so Rangers, once again, Matthew Shearer. There's Curtis Matthew's Terry. Like, what, three for 36? Juan Soto, but he was hurt also. Yeah, I mean, how do you want to sort this? I don't know. It's sorted by, it's, uh, stats are sorted by OPS on MLB.com. Juan Soto, Freddie Freeman, Ronald Acuna, Marcel Azuna, Will Myers are the top five in OPS. It's kind of a broad broad sort of look. Oh, they don't give you war on here. Trent Grisham rookie cards going to Ryu Oyama. Bo Bichette, of course, going to the Blue Jays' Mark Bissette. What about Bo for the here? I don't think he's a rookie. He's rookie in for this Quinn Priester to uh, 50. Yeah, I think he's a rookie in products, but uh, I think his, he had too many ABs last year. And I've taken ahead of Mike Trout by the Angels. Same draft. 
Yeah. Randall Grishick was an angel? Yeah, he was taken ahead of uh, Mike Trout. Is this a box? Yeah. Oh, that's a box. Okay, nice. And there's Bryant Packard. Tigers, that's going to go to Ryan H., who won that spot in a, uh, in a mini break, in a filler break. The NL MVP is down to either Tatis or Mookie. The NL MVP, you mean? Yeah, NL MVP. Yeah. AL MVP, everyone's saying that pitcher. Shane Bieber? Yeah. Yeah, he's actually been having a pretty incredible, incredible year. Nolan Gorman, a 150. My crazy contenders basketball originated this Friday. Now it's tomorrow. Well, someone said it was Friday. Someone and else I, said it was yes, Friday. Yes, because I had it listed as Friday. No, this person said his distributor told him Friday. Well, we ended up getting the product. Maybe we just got it earlier. But it's really tomorrow. There's a uh, Oswald Barraza for the Yankees. Daniel Ruiz with that one. I think it was always tomorrow. I think it was always tomorrow, but I just. I've, I screwed up the whole industry. Wow, Nick Jaspi screwed up the whole industry. We're, we're market movers, ladies and gentlemen. There's Bryce Tour ranked 25. I posted it with a FRI in the title. That was totally my bad. Just moving markets. There's Nolan Arenado to 499. I should tell everybody it's Friday and then we start ripping it Wednesday. Be like, whoop. <laughs> Get a, you should get a feed me tattoo. No way, That was almost dangerous territory there. I almost rejected you like Bam out of bio. I know. At the rim. Oh man, we got open cards here. This is. Just testing your hands. Nice. Good hands, Nick. Good hands. Manny Machado, NL MVP. It's been hitting pretty well, right? Hector Yan for the Angels. Yeah, Raiders. Very, very happy about that. Did not expect 2 0. There you go. Who has the Halos? Daniel has the Halos. Jordan saying Lewis hitting 50 points higher than Luis Robert and higher OPS, slugging, Nelson, OP, OBP. Nelson Cruz is the uh, favorite as of September 15th. For AL MVP, wow, Nelson, according to the Vegas Lions, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty interesting. There's Luis Roberts, that's speaking a, of Luis Roberts. Robert. Kind of Alright, there's Luis Robert. Maybe a little overrated, according to Jordan, at least compared to Kyle Lewis. Hebert Ruiz to 250. Yeah, Jonathan Abram is pretty great. <laughs> I didn't really care about the two bands, Rex. Who are they? Weezer and Fall Out Boy on Family Feud? I could care less about those two bands. There's Tyler Ivey to 49, although I like the feud part. You don't like Weezer? I mean, like, they're hits. I can't like, they're, song, I they're three hit songs, maybe. Astros, David Ross. I may know one Fallout Boy song. There's Sixto Sanchez. Can you sing it? What? The they got, the, Weezer had Beverly Hills. Oh, that's, that's right. where I want to be. Have... No, that's, that's BC Boys, yeah. Good save. There's Dalton Jeffries to 499. They also have, uh, oh, no, that's well, of course, Rex. Fall Out Boy was a band started after 1999, so 
you don't like anything after 1999. Weezer, of course you like Weezer. Dalton Jeffries, 499. Another Trent Grisham, two Trent Grishams, rookie cards, and a Gilberto Jimenez. It's got to work on that auto a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I don't know that song. Maybe if I heard that, I song, that song, John. I know that song, John. Was that that's, on a Guitar Hero? That's a good song, John. On a Guitar Hero band? No, I just know it. Guitar, guitar band? You definitely know it. I, I think it was, yeah. We're going down, down. And then the crowd goes right. down. What do you like post-1999, Rex? I don't think I've ever heard you mention anything post 90 It's always mid ninety Saturday Night Live. Mid '90s rock, alt rock bands. Mid '90s movies. There's, that's basically '90s. When did when did they start? I actually don't know when they started. Lincoln Park is like 2000. <laughs> that's close. That's basically a '90s group. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I've heard Rex say he likes anything past 2010. Let's put it that way. Right. I mean, I, I'm not knocking it, Rex. I'm just saying, I'm just saying your wheelhouse is the '90s. That's that's where it is. Antonio Cabello. A lot of Yankees autos here. That goes to uh, Daniel Ruiz of Florida. Daniel Ruiz, Cal Ruiz, California has the Diamondbacks in this one. There's Yoshi Sutsugo to 4.99. Sut Sut Studio. That goes to Richard and the Rays. I think, that's, I think that's a Lincoln Park song that John Samson is referencing. One thing, I don't even know why. It doesn't even know how hard you try. Yeah, that's 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 like the... Oh, know. that's the one he remixed, Jay-Z remix with? Did Jay-Z remix one of those songs? I like the Jay-Z Lincoln Park song. Yeah, Lingham Park was not was not a very good band. There's Riley Green. They're the face of the Transformers movie. They're the, are they the face of the Transformers movie? Yeah, the one with Shia LaBeouf. That, was that the first one? It's the best one. The, the best one, Riley Green? Ryan H? Tigers? Was that her debut? Yeah, she was in her prime. Her debut was her prime, that was it? <laughs> just downhill yeah, from there? Like, it was like a... A pitcher who like throws a perfect game, and, and then it was just like nothing after that. Yeah. The Luis Robert Refractor to four ninety nine. Ten reasons why Megan Fox isn't isn't yeah, hired by Hollywood who's anymore. The, uh, who's the Transformers director? The guy who blows up stuff, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Like, yeah. I think Michael Bay hated her. I, I think he may he, have. Like, destroyed her career. This is pretty cool. 14 out of 25. Reason one her feud with Michael Bay. And then, like, number six will repeat it. It would be like, her and Michael Bay feuded. Feuded, yeah. There's Drew Avens, one out of 25 for the Dodgers. Andrew Thompson. That Ricky Henderson farm to fame to 25 is A's edition. Joe M with that. And Andrew Thompson won the Dodgers in the mini break. <laughs> no, I mean it's hey, it's 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 a good era, Rex. It's a solid era. Robert Pawson A's Joe M. I think she, Megan Fox had a relationship with uh, or is in a relationship with Brian Austin Green. An original cast member of the original 90210. I think they had something weird going on that. He's he's married to Megan Fox. He's 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 Mr. Megan Fox. That's Is that the show where the redhead guy has the sunglasses and he takes them off and he's like it's like a meme? No 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 that's uh, CSI Miami I think. With the with the Who song. There's Dan Vogelbach for the M's Thomas. 
I won't get fooled again. Mind you, they're separated. Oh, they're separated now? Well, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Miss Fox's career was was she not was handled was not handled correctly. Megan Fox, she's just to her Megan Fox just unsubscribed to our YouTube. Damn. Sorry, Meg. Meg, am, am, am I close enough to her call her like Meg? They're 78 out of 150. This is Ronald's brother. Luis Angel Acuna. His base autos are like 300. This is nice. Nice. Rangers. That's going to be Matthew Shearer who picked up the Rangers straight up. Straight up now tell me do you really want to love? Forever. Oh, 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 or am I caught in a hit and run? Yeah, because it was sampled in a song, in a hip hop song in the last couple of years. But that's, that's originally a Paula Abdul song. Oh, yeah, I know it because of J. Cole. Correct. Yeah, it's a J. Cole song. There's a little sample in there. She left him. Megan Fox is now with Prim, Mike Tower, and Jordan saying. Oh, she's with Machine Gun Kelly. I see. John Samuelson pointing out that she likes guys with three names. Hmm. What are you suggesting, John Samuelson? John Samuelson has three different names. There's Isan Diaz to four ninety nine. Who? Machine Gun Kelly? Yeah. Big heartthrob. Is he a heartthrob? I don't see it though. Him and like yeah, like a new era of heartthrobs. This guy? I don't see it. Yeah. This guy? I don't see it, Joe, but yeah. I mean, he would have gotten beat up in the 90s. Am I right, Rex? Him and Pete Davidson. Yeah, Eric Pena. People like that? Hmm. Yeah, there you go, Rex. Yeah. Megan Fox, if you want to if you want to hang out with a real man, come visit Jaspies in Hermosa Beach, California. There's the Oshi Sutsugo to 150. That's gonna go by. That bit's gonna go viral right now. TMZ will be like, <laughs> nerdy group breakers calling out Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Well, it was, it was when Eminem like totally, basically. I guess we're calling out Machine Gun Kelly more. Maybe that. Maybe that'll that'll. Hit Eminem, there. I think, killed Machine Gun Kelly's career, but now people like him again. What? Demon. Yeah, that I kind of remember that. Gun. Yeah, didn't Eminem just I mean, roast Mach Machine Gun Kelly and he's yeah, just like, like licking his wounds, crying? But then Machine Gun Kelly's like, yeah, your daughter's hot, and then it got all. Oh, busy. then it got weird. Yeah. Oh boy. <sighs> how how do people kill up, keep up with this without it without MTV News? All right, here are the final four box right here. I don't even know how we got on this topic here. All right. Anyway, I guess Jaspi's just started with just started a feud with Machine Gun Kelly. There's Pedro Pagas, 23 out of 50, who I think may have a brother in the Dodgers organization. Uh, the Cardinals is Pedro Pagas, maybe a relationship with uh, Allen. May I don't know. Like the Dodgers have a Pagas in their organization. 23 out of 50 gold for the Cardinals EA with that one. Rookie Aquino for Matthew Shear and the Reds. Andy, not Allen. There's Kyle Lewis, we're just talking about him. And there's Shane Baz to 50. Gold shimmer. Paul Goldschmidt. No, 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 yeah. Brian Austin Green would be on our side, Mike. There's Alex Vasia for the Marlins. That'll be for Ryan D. Yeah, the next family feud, Team Jaspies versus Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. And then I guess 
Who else are we feuding with? Well, we're trying to get Megan Fox on the Jaspi side. I mean, someday, case breakers like ourselves could be could be celebrities. I mean, if there are TikTok stars out there, why not why not case breaking stars out there? Really? Driving, dri driving, driving Lambos with Megan Fox. Yeah, we'll take we'll we'll take her out for I I take Megan Fox out for a, an In and Out burger. The shake. My treat. My treat. Megan. There's Nick Solak. Although I also have an open invitation to Katie Nolan for uh, for in and out as well. I feel like I have more of a chance with Katie Nolan than I would with uh, Megan Fox. Gonna start breaking in thong bikinis. Is that what I need to be to be TikTok famous? Or have like a clever dance, right? Maybe a clever dance. Or maybe I have some sort of, uh, there's Riley Green to 50 for the Tigers. Nice. Goes to Ryan H. Maybe some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of wild fashion. Or fall over. Uh, do it, I have to fall over in bed? Maybe that—that's something. See you, Kevin. Maybe I—I I do this, right? And then all of a sudden it comes back, and I'm wearing different clothes. All right, Quinn Priester, Purple Shimmer. But see, the problem with TikTok though is that—is that the. Do I want to give up that much data to my personal information to a corporation in China? No. No thanks. Sam Huff for the Rangers to The amount of data that you like have to allow on that to just to download that is like ridiculous. Like you thought like Facebook was bad. I think um, as of I don't know if they've changed it. Probably not, but I think they could. It they you even give you give them permission. TikTok can give you permission. To, you would give TikTok permission to look at your clipboard. I think so. Whatever you copy and paste, like they have access to that. Let alone your contacts and your photos and every single thing there. Who knows what they're doing with that? Who knows? A lot of security breaches there. One thirty-one out of one fifty. Marlins, Ryan D with the fish. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna give up all my personal information, let's give it to let's give it to American companies to steal my personal info. TikTok sold to Oracle and Walmart? Another Luis Robert for Thomas and the White Sox. Marco Luciano to 150 for my rivals, the Giants. That'll be for Mark. I like these farm to fame cards here. We were talking about Pedro Martinez a little bit earlier today. Now he was traded to, uh, to the Expos for Delino de Shields. That's for Mark and the Giants. And then we've got Cody Bolton. <laughs> Joey trying to shoehorn that joke in. There you go, Joey. Pirates, Matthew Shearer with that one. But yeah, not not like not like the farm and Allen and the Ginter Mike Tower, absolutely. 
different kind of farm. That is Alex Kirlov to 99, green. All right, and the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. A couple more auto autographs to go. And we've got Michael Harris for the Braves. That'll be for Brandon and Atlanta. Kieran Paris for the Halos. Purple Shimmer going to Daniel. Matthew Lubitor, former Rays prospect, now with the Cardinals to 499. Refractor for EA and the. Cardinals, Nico Horner for the Cubs. It's going to go to Nicholas Casper. And we got Drew Avance. I said his name two different times. One of them is going to be right. Andrew Thompson with the Dodgers. Don't know too much about this guy. Enjoys working out and playing video games. I mean, <laughs> we're not really digging that deep there, are we? Dalton Varsho for Daniel Ruiz, Diamondbacks. Jordan Yamamoto refractor to 4.99, a Robert Pawson, and a Luis Patino closes things out. All card ship in this as well, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. All right, let me just slide these over here. We'll do a quick recap as well after we give away the box. So let me get that set up here. Let's flip back to the main description page right here. So you got to buy at least two teams to get one entry. Four teams get you two entries, six teams get you three entries, so on and so forth, for a chance at a hobby box, one, one you just saw right here, Bowman Chrome Baseball. So let's sort all of your names right there. No, I don't think I remember seeing any Dahlquists, Oliver. So Brandon, you got two teams, that's an entry. Daniel Ruiz of Florida got two teams, that's an entry. EA got two teams, that's an entry. Joe with two, that's an entry. Jordan with two, that's an entry. One, two. Mark with four, that's two entries. Matthew Shearer with three, but two count. One entry, still an entry. Ryan H, one, three. That means two, that's an entry. And Thomas with two, that's an entry. Let me just double check that. Brand, I got Brandon, Daniel, Florida. A, Joe M, Jordan, Mark, Matthew S, Ryan H, and Thomas. Okay. So that's 10 spots right there. So the top name of those 10 after 7 will get the box. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck. It's Thomas. There you go. Thomas Resor. Resor? Thomas R is what I'm going to go with. There you go, man. Um, a box of Bowman Chrome Baseball sealed going your way. If you choose to open it up, let us know if you get anything cool. This was a huge card right here. Ronald's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, to 150. Nick was saying base autos go for a lot. So that, with a little bit of color, could be pretty huge as well. And here are a lot of other great, hopefully, these all become future stars is what we're, what we're really hoping for. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. We've got more in the store, and we have choice additions in the store, in the store as well on jazbeescase.com.
jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.